As the weather warms up and school lets out for summer break, many of us go to East Tennessee lakes and rivers to fish and to cool off. But before you jump in, you may want to think twice. Do you know what's in the water? One clean water advocate says even the state doesn't check often enough. We're going to learn more now. 10 News reporter Cole Sullivan joins us live along the water in downtown. And Cole, you looked into toxins that should raise concerns and what people can do about it. Robin and John, that's right. We've gone through hundreds of pages from the states and found creeks, rivers, and lakes in our area that have E. coli, mercury, and other pollutants that could be harmful to our families. They're the jewels of East Tennessee, a place for us to cool off, play, and fish under the hot sun. But what's really in the water? But pollution happens every day, all day long. And some of that pollution could hurt you. You could have some gastrointestinal effects, such as diarrhea. Our story starts here at Beaver Creek in Carnes with Natalie Landry and her team from Knox County Stormwater Management. And we're going to take a sample that will later be analyzed for bacteria. They're testing for bacteria in the water before it makes its way downstream. The Beaver Creek's headwaters start way up in Gibbs, make its way through Halls, down through Powell and into Carnes, and then finally flow down into Melton Hill Lake. Beaver Creek is one of just hundreds of small streams feeding the lakes and rivers where we play. And as they wind their way through our communities, they bring pollutants along. That's a major volume of water that's washing through there, and it's picking up everything along the way. So what is in that water? We probably have thousands, tens of thousands of chemicals in water. State documents show pollutants and bacteria, such as E. coli, mercury, and PCBs, in Beaver Creek, First, Second, and Third Creek in Knoxville, Fort Loudon Lake, Melton Hill, the list goes on. But the good news, experts say just swimming in the water likely won't get you sick. And you would have to swallow a lot of water many times before health effect would become apparent. Dr. Frank Loeffler is a microbiologist at UT. He says it's safe to go in the water. The real danger is what you pull out of it. Some fish in our lakes have high levels of toxins. We have toxic chemicals in the water, particularly, you know, associated with the sediment. And then fish like to eat food from the sediment. Mercury and chemicals called PCBs rest on the bottom of the lakes. When we eat bottom feeder fish like catfish and largemouth bass from those lakes, we're also eating toxic chemicals. But you may be exposed repeatedly over many years or decades to chemicals and eventually that causes disease, like cancer. And they can analyze that fish tissue and find out what that fish has c consumed that may be potentially dangerous for you. Kathy Hawes is the executive director of the Tennessee Clean Water Network. She says another concern is how often the government tests the waters to issue those warnings. Some of our lakes aren't being tested by the government, but once every two years or five years, and that's not often enough. She says that means some pollutants might slip through the cracks. There's not cause for alarm, but there's great call for better awareness and action on some of these issues. And coming up tomorrow, we'll look at the specific lakes and rivers in our area, see what the pollutants are there, what the dangers from them are, and exactly where you guys go swimming over the summer. Robin and John will have that story for you tomorrow on 10 News at 6. Cole, thanks very much. And right now, it's not just lakes and rivers. The Tennessee Department of Health says between 2000 and 2014, almost 500 illness outbreaks in the U.S. were linked to pools, hot tubs, spas, as well as water playgrounds. Illnesses can include stomach, eye, ear, and skin infections. Health leaders say parents are key to prevention. If your kids aren't feeling well, don't let them swim. Build in some regular bathroom breaks for your little ones especially, and you can always check the inspection report for public pools. Finally, try not to swallow the water.